In this video, we're going to talk about transforming and editing actors inside of the editor viewport. This is extremely important because you're going to be doing this 100% at a time while working on your game projects inside of Unreal Edit. So you need to be able to move things around, rotate them, and scale them. So to move them around, we'll use these uh, the top widget up here. You can see we have all these buttons. The first button on the left is the Move tool, and the shortcut for that is W. After that, we have the Rotate tool, which is the E key is the shortcut for that. And then the R key is the shortcut for Scale, which comes after that. So let's go through all of these uh, one at a time, and I'll demonstrate how they work. So the Move tool is pretty simple. You'll see that we have this widget with different arrows. And if we click on an arrow and drag it around, the arrow becomes yellow. It becomes highlighted when you're hovering over it. And then you can click and drag. So you can move this up in the Z axis. You can move it um, left and right or wherever you want. You can use these uh, little handle planes in between the two arrows to move in two directions at the same time. So for example, I could drag this in the X and Y axis at the same time, which is pretty useful. Then we have this little white sphere in the center of the widget, and there's actually a purpose to that. If we click and drag on that little sphere, we can move this object in screen space. And what that means is based on however whatever the orientation of our camera is in the viewport we'll be able to move this around based on that orientation so just grab the little uh, white sphere drag it around and you'll get a feel for how it works then we have the rotate tool and rotates pretty straightforward and self-explanatory you can rotate the object on its y x and z axis and you could probably already imagine how this is extremely useful um, for placing objects and rotating them and positioning them inside of your environments and your levels exactly how you want. Then we have the scale tool and Unreal Ed lets you scale things non-uniformly so if I grab just a little blue handle which is the z-axis I can stretch this guy out and pull him up. I can also widen it by stretching it uh, either in the y or x-axis. If you want to scale something uniformly so it doesn't get distorted just use the little white cube in the center of the widget Click and drag that with the left mouse button and you can uniformly scale the object, which about 90% of the time is usually what you want to do, except for those rare uh, instances where you have to scale non-uniformly. You also have the ability to edit the pivot. So if you hold down the Alt key and you use the middle mouse button to click and drag on that little white sphere with the Move tool, you can adjust the pivot and move it to a new location. Now I can switch to the Rotate tool and I can rotate this object based on that new pivot point. So that's actually pretty cool. Now you have to keep in mind it's a temporary edit. So once you click uh, on another object, or if you were to click on the same object again, the pivot point gets reset back to its original location. So it's very important to remember that. Sometimes you might accidentally edit the pivot and click on something and you lose the, the edit of pivot. So you have to grab the pivot with the Alt key and the middle mouse button and move it again. It happens. Um, just be careful not to click on anything or else the pivot gets reset. We also have uh, global and local space. So you notice that there's this top button after the scale tool that has a, a, plant, a picture of a little planet and if you click on it you'll get a picture of a little cube. When it shows the planet you're in world space mode. When it shows the cube you're in local space mode or object space. So let me demonstrate this by rotating this trash can here at, at a funny angle. And you notice that the move tool, the, the, the Z axis, which points to up, is pointing straight up when I have the little planet icon. Now if I switch to the little cube, which is local space, you notice that now this thing orients itself to the same direction that the trash can is facing. So now you notice that the trash can's uh, up direction, since it's tilted, is pointing that way up to the top left. So that's local space mode. So that's actually really useful when you're fine-tuning and placing objects in your scene. Sometimes you need to switch between local and global space to be able to do exactly what you want. Then we have some snap settings. So over here, you'll notice that if I uncheck the snap settings by clicking on it, it'll become white. I can move this object freely without snapping. If I turn the setting back on, you notice that it snaps. And if I click on the number next to it, the default is 10, I have different... Um, snap sizes that I can choose. So if I want to move this every 10 units, I can choose that. If I want to move this every 50 units, I can do that as well. So I'll click on 50. 
And now you notice when I move the object with the move tool, it'll snap to every 50 Unreal units. So I'll uncheck that, and then I can move it again freely. I'm going to check that back on. And I'm going to switch it back to 10. We also have angle snapping. So you notice that when I rotate, it's snapping to specific about 10 degrees increments. If I go over here to the options for the angle snapping, I could choose 5 degrees, 15 degrees, a whole bunch of different uh, settings. And this could be pretty useful for if you're doing any type of architectural stuff or anything that has to be really precise. If I uncheck that, now I can rotate this freely so you have more of a free form way of editing this. I'm going to turn that back on. We do have scale snapping as well, so right now by default it's on. So if I try to scale this object up, you notice that it's uh, scaling at increments of about 0 0.25. If I uncheck the scale snapping, I can then scale it freely. And again, you have options here to choose uh, at what increments you want to snap this to. So pretty useful. We also have different options and settings. If I go over here to the editor preferences, we can actually change some preferences that are specific to snapping in Unreal Ed. So if we go down to viewports and I scroll down a little bit, you'll see a rollout section for grid snapping. And these are just extra options that you can control uh, the behavior of snapping and different things like that. 